Greeting friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we're going to learn a new tool that has been introduced by Coral Draw. That tool is in shapes, it's called Impact Tool. This tool basically is here to give you a look that you can create because of this tool that was famous in time of 80s. And these were comic books, magazines coming in this session. But we still can use this kind of tool. Let's see how. So I just selected this tool and dragged it down just to create a circle like this. And this effect is created. Now how this effect can be used. We can see that property bar is having few options here which says radial, fixed style and parallel. So if we select parallel, we get this. If we select radial, we get this. So how this tool is going to work. So you can see the variation of that thickness. This thickness variation is because of the line width. Here, the line width section is there, minimum line is this and maximum width is this. So that's how we are getting it. And here another setting is there start and end points. So we can start at random start points and we can create random end points also. So now you can see the end points are random and start points are also random. So minimum and maximum between a line and the steps between them decides what kind of look we are going to get. So, if we create it in just a matter of zero, we can create this kind of uniform look. And if we want to change that look, we can do it in that manner. And here we can width, vary, uh, vary the width, the maxima of the width of that line. So, I'm going to change it to this setting, and you can see here, you can see this thing. I'm going to do it. 5 now you can see this kind of effect is changing here or we can vary the width and the widest point can be 85% so I can reduce it you can see now widest point is still 52% of the line right so we can create ups and downs in that line to create look where in what kind of look we are wanting in this effect. But how can we use this effect to our benefit? Let's use it in that sense. I'm going to put it at 5 again. And I'm just, just going to take the random start points checked out. I'm going to keep the random end points. Here I'm going to reduce the number of steps so that I can have a uniform look. I'm going to change the color to blue or royal blue sort of. So first of all, we want to create it to the shape. Uh, let's see what these things do here. So I'm going to create a shape here, rectangle. I'm going to remove the color. I'm going to bring this rectangle here at the center. And I'm going to select this effect again. Here, I'm going to select outer boundary. And I'm just going to take that shape. See how this effect is coming inside. We can change size also. And this is how this effect has come out. So this has taken the shape there. Now, let's work on the inner part, how this inner part can be seen. We have seen this kind of effect in many movies also or product also. So here I taken this bottle from uh, Artistic Media Tool Resources where the burger was shown and I have created a boundary out of it. We'll be learning about creating boundaries 
in shape and transformation session. So right now I'm going to show you how this is going to help. I'm going to increase the size of this boundary and I'm going to put it there in the center. See. So now I'm going to select on impact tool. Again, I'm going to select on this circle and I'm going to select on the inner boundary of this tool. So if I select this tab, what happens? I have an option to check an object which can take the shape. So I'm going to select this object here. And you see something has happened here. See, I have moved that boundary and we can see the shape. Now I'm going to take uh, already uh, drawn face here and I'm going to take it. I'm going to copy it, control C. I'm going to paste it in our document, control V here. So now I can make this thing as a regular piece of art, this kind of effect we can create. So now if we just show it to somebody else, that's how we have created it. Just by using this impact tool. Now my main focus is on that head that I'm showing, but the message that a bottle is giving here is understood. And this is how we're going to make the effect become more live. Now let's understand what if we want to create it in a radial map. Oh, sorry, radial is already there, parallel map. So I'm going to create, I'm going to click on it again and I'm going to create it. And this time I'm going to select the parallel option. And once we select the parallel option, we can again move that with the help of pick tool. I'm going to increase its size. And this time I want to create same effect in the parallel lines. But I'm going to change the color here because here I want again uh, the blue and I'm going to place this boundary of the bottle but a little smaller over here. I'm going to change the order of this bottle. I'm going to bring it to front. Okay. Now I'm going to put it here on the shape. And I'm going to repeat that exercise. Now I'm going to just select this inner boundary and I'm going to place it on the bottle. So it seems nothing happened, but it created the shape already. And I'm going to move that head here and I'm going to put it here. So it's the same effect, but in parallel, I have created it. Obviously, uh, this head. I have to bring it to the front or I just send this effect to the back so that these lines don't disturb, disturb us here. Right. Now you can see how these lines and bottles have created effect here. Right. We can vary the size of it to our choice and we can drop it down to our requirement. That's how it's going to be. Thank you.